The Type 35 was first introduced for the French Grand Prix at Lyon in 1924. Brigatti had been running a Grand Prix prior to that, but not all that successfully, and with some rather ungainly looking motor cars. So when the 35 came out with those beautiful eight-spoked alloy wheels with the built-in brake drums, the shape that stood the test of time, it really stood out as being the best looking car ever built. It wasn't successful in its first outing, but it wasn't too long before the Type 35s were winning everything. And a car that first came out in 1924 was still winning Grand Prix in 1929, basically the same car with a slightly bigger engine won the first ever Monaco Grand Prix in 1929. The French Grand Prix was also won by a Type 35B in 1929, both driven by William Grover Williams, the British driver who raced under the pseudonym of Williams, um, without anyone really knowing who he was. He was actually an SOE operative during the Second World War and lost his life to the Gestapo whilst he was working for the French Resistance. The wheels were really one of the great ideas of the car with the built-in brake drums on it, so when the cars came in to change tyres, the uh, brake drums were changed at the same time, so as the uh, brakes wore down, they could just put on new drums with the wheels and tyres at the whole time, so it uh, did give the cars quite a competitive advantage, as well as being one of the best looking things on the cars. The car is a two-seater, as all Grand Prix cars were back then, carrying a riding mechanic. Riding mechanics are obviously fairly small people because when you get into the cockpit of a Type 35 Bugatti, whether it's in the driver's or the passenger seat, there really isn't a lot of room and you certainly wouldn't have been able to drive the car fast with two big people in it. Very tight, very cosy in there. The gearbox when you're driving it is burning your calf on your left leg whilst the right one's jammed up against the bulkhead and you really don't worry about that whatsoever, they're just such a wonderful thing to drive, the noise they make is magnificent, the clutch and the gearbox are absolutely brilliant if you get it right, um, very horrible if you get it wrong, but that's up to the driver, not the car, and the car really is everything that the legend has made those cars out to be.